One hand and backhand. I'm going to have the ready position, curl on the wrist, elbow bent, unit turn. I'm hanging on to the racket with my fingertips on the throat, index finger on the strings. I'm going to pull my elbow back, left elbow back, turn. I'm going to get more than sideways to stay sideways. Ideally, I'm going to step straight out. If I have to have a close stance, I'm going to adjust my back foot. So I see the ball coming. I quickly turn. As I turn, I change my grip, straighten my arm. Now from here, I'm going to push down with my left hand like I'm hitting a forehand. Now when the rack, racket gets down to the knee, the left hand stays back. Remember, the ball doesn't know it's being hit by a forehand or backhand, so the principles are the same. High, low, high, and inside out. With my left hand, I'm going to turn like it's a forehand. I get to here, and then now I go away from my body. In drop hitting a ball, it's very important to make sure that when your students turn, they can do it one-handed like this, just with the left hand on the racket, or they could turn with the right hand on the racket, but they have to toss underneath this way. Don't toss over because then the racket is low. So I'm going to turn, and I just use those verbal commands, those buzzwords, turn, Toss, catch, hit, and then hold. Again, I think especially kids that live where the weather's cold, they could have a, a tennis twist, a little ball machine like this, and just in their garage. Small little steps, get there, step straight out, and just lift up. If I get lower, I'm going to increase the upward angle, and I'll hit more top. up. Now if I can do it, you can do it. It's just a matter of repetition. And the ball is an indicator of the swing. To hit true topspin. I, I need to have the upward angle. So again, this should give you a look of the one-handed backhand. Once again, the top players swing very, very fast. They have a very vertical swing and the racket will even go back in this position. With the topspin backhand, when you teach, you want to give the person a picture of the, of the stroke, show them the whole stroke, and then you break it into parts. So they can put the pieces of the puzzle together. Okay, one last toss in backhand. Oh, all right.